What's going on, y'all? Hope all is well. Another episode of Convos with your CFP, Mario Payne in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. Before we get started, like always, like, subscribe, share to our channel. As you know, I'm a certified financial planner. Been practicing for over 16 years. Has brought in over $250 million in assets. Woo! But today, I'm just a person giving you information. And about information... I'm going to give you guys an investment that you might want to look into as the market continues to go up and down. All y'all Bitcoin fans, it might be a penny stock that might be worth a while. But let's go. So my profiteers, we talk about Bitcoin mining. What is Bitcoin mining? We're going to go over the largest, yes, the largest Bitcoin mining field and why one stock due to mining the 21 billion of Bitcoin might be an investment opportunity. Bitcoin hit $1 trillion market cap this year. This has inspired some Bitcoin operations to expand, especially in the wake of the recent government crackdown of miners in China. The ban on mining in China has caused a mass exodus to the United States, to Russia, and to any other areas where mining facilities are available. Well, yes. China said no Bitcoin mining and you can't buy Bitcoin. That's why I think as China opens things up and they see Bitcoin going up, as they see the U.S. buying one trillion dollars of Bitcoin, they're going to say, you know what? We need to get to this arms race. It used to be nuclear weapons. Now it's Bitcoin. So I think um, China is going to raise Bitcoin dramatically over the next year once they allow people to purchase Bitcoin in China. Welcome to Rockdale, Texas, Rockdale. America's new crypto mining hub. This building that's directly behind me, inside of the buildings, we have this shelving that's a thousand feet. Look at that. Look how big that is. No diddy. Feet long, 20 feet tall, and there are just miner after miner after miner after miner. We went inside North America's largest Bitcoin mine to understand how it works and its energy footprint. What is a miner? It is a small computer. They call it an ASIC miner. It is made to solve problems. And when they solve that problem, it feeds into the Bitcoin network. When it feeds into the Bitcoin network, you receive a reward. To help us understand. Wow. Now, what chips are they using to power all those small computers? NVIDIA. And crypto's reward system a little better. We spoke to blockchain expert Bettina Warburg. That's what mining is. It's a process by which people are contributing computing power and earning a reward for essentially participating in this process that secures a network. Everybody's using the same software that allows them to connect together and uh, participate in uh, a governance structure that's shared. It seemed like only yesterday that one person with a handful of computers crunching numbers in their apartment could make money from mining Bitcoin. So I Not no more. Bitcoin mining is a elaborate and expensive process. Now, people say when the halving happens, a lot of Bitcoin miners are going to say, man, I can't make as much money. I don't get as much rewards, right? Because when you have it, you cut down a supply of Bitcoin. But I think Bitcoin mining is big business, and I think it might be a pause after the halving in April, but it's going to come roaring strong. How do we go from there to here? Just like with many industries, you start small. The guy in the garage started the process. He mined Bitcoin. I believe the reward was around 50 Bitcoin for every block reward. Now it is at 6.25. In some ways, cost equal. That's the halving, right? You mine Bitcoin in 2009, it was 50 Bitcoin. Now, 2021, 6.5 Bitcoin. Just imagine how much it's going to be after the halving, closer to two or two and a half, right? But the value of Bitcoin is going to be higher. The value of Bitcoin, if I only bought it in 2009, was a lot less than what it is now. So you might just get one or two Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin's at 150 or even 200,000 a coin, that's still pretty good. Energy expenditure, this is just the nature of technology. We see updates and innovation and people driving 
margin and, and driving their cost of operation down in order to reap the greatest reward. Um, so you get mining operations that happen in places where power is less expensive. Typically, mining operations go where energy is cheap. Yes, because it is very, very expensive to mine Bitcoin. Right now, Texas has some of the lowest kilowatt hour prices in America. That Unless it's a freeze out. If it's a freeze out, you know, they power grid can't get that. How is it that a senator called Ted Cruz leaves to go to Mexico of all places when everybody else is stuck in the cold? Man, those politicians. Luckily, they caught him at the airport with his bags packed and his flip flops and he couldn't go. But come on, be better politicians. That's due in part to a deregulated energy market, which means several providers compete to snag big customers like Windstone. So there's environments like Iceland, Russia, China, Canada, areas like Iceland and Canada have a cooler environment. There's probably less dust in those areas. The miners run at a cooler temperature. Cryptocurrency is about the low cost provider. Texas is becoming a hotbed for other cryptocurrency facilities. In fact, Shenzhen-based bit mining is coming to Texas and Beijing. <laughs> China's going to rethink about that thought process of no more mining and no more Bitcoin purchases. Based Bitmain, a company that designs circuit chips for Bitcoin mining, is moving into the decaying aluminum plant down the road from Windstone. All right, enough with that. Let's go over why we think one investment in particular is untapped. And from a mining standpoint, it's going to maybe go to the moon. Okay, my profiteers, you're like, what are you talking about, Mario? Ain't you a CFP? Don't you know better? Well, symbol, G-R-D-I. Gritty. Yeah, do the gritty. Who they? Shouts out to my big with Jamar chasing them. Going to win the Super Bowl this year. But Gritty Infrastructure is a Bitcoin mining company, and they are a new Bitcoin mining company. So we have companies like Clean Spark. Let's look at Clean Spark, right? Clean Spark. Look at this, my profiteers. Look at the growth Clean Spark has had. You want to talk about rocking and rolling? Where you at, man? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? So look at this growth up 700% since October of last year. A lot of growth from Clean Spark from $3 to now $23. Man, if only, right? Well, I believe that Gritty is going to be the next clean spark. Now, are we saying it's going to go up by 700%? I'm not saying that. But all Bitcoin mining companies, especially after the halving, when they're exhausted and they're like, I ain't trying to do this no more, and then they ramp up because they see the price of Bitcoin going up after the halving, I think this company has some room to grow. And just to get to where its high was, and its high came out at the market this year, right up, and then up, and then look at that, Ooh, down by almost 70%. Well, my profiteers, if we look to see, get back to where it was, that is, yes, a almost 900% return, more than Clean Spark. Right now, it's a penny stock, so it's very volatile. It's trending down as new investors. That's good. If it's something that's trending down, you buy it at a lower price if you think it's going to go back up. Now, this is definitely a long-term hold. It is not like it's a guarantee. Well, nothing's guaranteed in the stock market. But it's not as much of a safer investment as Bitcoin. It's crazy to say Bitcoin is a safer investment than a penny stock. But due to the federal government putting $1 trillion in Bitcoin, JP Morgan, some of the large banks like BlackRock, putting billions of dollars in Bitcoin, it's more stable and the price fluctuation will not fluctuate as much as it did after the last cycle in 21 and 22 when it started going down. So will it get back to where it was and be up by almost 900%? We do not know. But for individuals who wants to be very, very aggressive in Bitcoin and try to catch something before it pops up like Clean Spark did, like uh, some of those altcoins did, Doing a gritty, gritty infrastructure or symbol GRDI is an investment you might want to look into. Rub hands like Birdman. All right, my profiteers, not telling you guys to buy this, 
but we always give rec recommendations from an informational standpoint, not from a what to do standpoint. But if you guys think over time that you want to get involved in crypto and something that is basically under the surface per se, I really think mining companies will grow. And I think this, because it's so low, so new, and it's down like crazy, gives you an opportunity. If it just gets back to where it was in January of this year, that's almost a 900% return. But my profiteers, profit, don't profit. We're going to profit first off. But comment below. What do you think about gritty infrastructure? Good idea? Bad idea? You think crypto is here to stay? You think it's a boom that's going to bust? Let me know y'all feelings. As always, love is love. Let's make some payment promise together, y'all. Peace. Mistakes, make a payment on your bills and you still late. Yeah, pay for profits to help you seek change. Uh, and you just wanna get paid. Yeah, tired of making no money mistakes. Make a payment on your bills and you still late. Uh, pay for profits to help you seek change. Yeah, cut the show and just listen. You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions. Residual by the hours can get you a better living. Uh, been check the check, you know, and it could be different. You know.